Hello everyone, Yoko so minasan, I'm Tokimadoshi, and in this video, I'm gonna show some differences that I saw between the Japanese dub audio and the English subtitle of the fourth episode of Spy Family. Here we go. There's a small difference here. They remove the term Kessen, which means a decisive battle. So it should be something similar as the time of the decisive battle has come. This is something that is really hard to translate into English because it has to do with the different levels of politeness in Japanese, and I'm pretty sure that in this episode, Lloyd told Anya to speak more politely. And without going into too much details, in Japanese there's a level of politeness where you often see masu at the end of something to make it more polite. But Anya is too young to understand when to use that, so she uses it every time, even if it doesn't apply normally. So in this case, you will not hear Daijubu Mas. And Gambalu Mas is almost correct, but it will be Gambali Mas instead. Hmm. Okusama's this doesn't change much, and it's kind of implied with the cut baggage. But they use the term kobutsuki, which specifically talk about having a child from a previous relationship, and to try and bring that child into a new relationship. When Anya was about to slip up and say that Lloyd was a spy, she changed the supai to supalashi, which is technically not a word, but is supposed to be subalashi. And she also used the term kokoro no oishasan, and kokoro means heart and Oishasan is a doctor, but in this case, heart is more figurative. It's not about the organ, but more about the mind of someone. So a doctor of the mind, or like they chose here, a specialist in mental health. So once again for Spy Family, they did an excellent job for the translation. In this episode, there's no big difference. Except maybe when Anya is trying to talk politely. But since the polite system is way more complex in Japanese than in English, it's a bit hard to translate. But it was wise for them to add a please at the end of every sentence to mimic the Japanese masu. So overall, I'm once again gonna give an A plus for the episode. And I'll see you next time.